Hello, I am Bashar Bizra, consultant ENT, facial plastic surgeon. I published my textbook on rhinoplasty, facial plastic surgery in 2002. The book has more than 500 pages and 1,000 illustrations. The textbook was forwarded by the presidents of the American and European Academies of Facial Plastic Surgery and was distributed worldwide. I hope you find these videos are very interesting. It's designed mainly for uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons and ENT and facial plastic surgeons. It's professional and educational. It presents my approach, my school, the Biza School of Rhinoplasty. Uh, you are most welcome and I hope you find it very interesting. This patient had uh, nose reshaping a few years ago somewhere else. She came to see me two weeks ago. A question of nose reshaping. You see, the tip is still is still very wide, bulbous tip, wide alar base, round nails, and there is also a mild settling. So we are going to consider augmentation uh, rhinoplasty, most likely with the help of conchal graft. Okay, thank you. So we start going to start the surgery now and the local with sedation. See, the patient has got very wide round tip and mild settling. Uh, he has, she has septorhinoblasty before. There you see, I mean, they have trimmed the caudal septum before. So there's no adequate cartilage. I'm going straight to obtain a concal graft. to go from the back for the ear. Many surgeons like to go from the front. Patients don't like the scar. I find it more practical, more for me and for the patient to go from the back of the ear. the graft almost now. Okay. Nice graft. Use now. We will remove the fat and the connective tissue. Clean it. Okay. Quite nice good graft. Keep it a normal saline now. We move to the nose. We start our intercartilaginous incision. Just one centimeter away from the midline. So we start to work mainly on the midline. The patient has got scar before, scar. So it's scarred nose. I'm sure we're going to face now of fibrosis. Because of the previous surgery. Yeah, I'm really getting some resistance. Okay. A lot of connected tissue there. And you see. some connected tissue okay. we 
we move straight to the tip and mark and bend it. The junction between intermediate cooler and lateral crust and we divide the dome obliquely. If the junction is there, we divide the dome obliquely. Reserving the rim cartilage as you see in order to avoid, in order to avoid notching. You see there is a lot of scar here on the rim that are across. They did on the approach before. Of course, I mean, it's not important how you go in. What's important is what you, what you did. What you do when you They went in, but they didn't do anything before. So what will be important what you do? Mm. So we deliver it now the two intermediate and measure the core to one side. And we make a bucket now between the two middle core and just down, down, just slightly above the middle spine. And now we go to our graph We obtain a simple graph right? I like it always to be long In order to augment the knees or the angle Augment the columella Stress the columella And please the hanging columella So this is the columella start Long, long the graft goes down, okay, and then we suture this three structures together. You must use this. Okay. We suture these three structures together. So we are now making a strong structure in the midline of conjoined medial to intermediate to cora, supported by columnar strut, and we are going to put also a typograph, going to add or top up a typograph to the structure in order to achieve more tip support. As you see, the patient has got very thick skin, very wide tip. She has surgery before, so the inner cartilage are not in a good shape. Been trimmed before, so she will need a good tip support. It should consider supportive means to achieve adequate tip projection. Now another bucket along the and ends so the the similar course here of resistance now because the open up open up wash scar which we had before and now we have got a very strong beam in the midline in order to support the tip and achieve more tip refinement more tip narrowing you see this technique is very nice in this revision cases now imagine you are doing an open approach in this carved nose what will happen how long time you will spend and what the degree of the trauma you are going to cause to the nasal structure and consequently the degree of oedema will maybe going to last around two years after some surgery if you do an open approach. I'm going to top up the tip graft and another graft because the patient has got a very thick skin. I need more contouring to the tip. Okay. 
need more keep controlling. about my sister, I do four knots, sister. Move the sharp edge. And now we put the structure back to the midline, so we have very strong structure now. Medium to cooler, intermediate to cooler, long chronometer strap, long table graph, and short table graph. So we got five structures there. See now, you see how much the columella being stretched stretch nicely up and start the result now. Tip elevation. Look at the lateral class now you see elevation has surgery. Also I did not pass the lateral class. I did not remove any bulk. So this is a small lateral class left there. That's why you should not really pass your lateral class because you see only this small lateral class which is left there. Even we did not trim any part of the lateral class, we did not pass the lateral class. No margin, no margin incision, no delivery, no exposure. So this is a very small piece left to, to support the a like side wall. That's why the beauty of this technique that the preservation with the lateral class in order to avoid a like side wall problem like benching, notching, retraction, and Asymmetry. Okay, so okay. Uh, before we consider the approximating structure of the Twitter class, we need to put okay. 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 so we use the uh, uh, homo homo lip graft. graft what is the book? Show the um, package there, package in here. This is the type of uh, the graph we use, uh, Homo Lib, you see, and it comes from the United States. Or you have obtained the strip, two small steps. The conservation has got six skin. Usually I rub it with fascia, but in this case, the conservation has got a very thin skin. I don't think it's necessary to rub it with fascia. Yeah. And I mean, an exact pocket, so that's it. Yeah. So now, I have done on my shoulder. We did augmentation, you see. Already the tip, the dorsum have been elevated. Suture. 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 too much just to make sure the gaps will not move from the midline okay from this for a second now not yeah. just push behind the economy like the your structure the IBM structure now I will say it in a second. Okay. Can I remove? Mm -hmm. So remove the two bags. Okay. So we are going to switch as a approximate the two repair cross into the midline. That I cross. This effect was such like there, how it just 
reducing the super A like fullness. With the preservation of that type car, so I'm not claiming any part of that type car. I'm reservation so I'm just only approximating. Again, on the Kiffer Qatar cross, on the other side, you see the effect also here. The effect is there about reducing the supraanal fullness. This is the aim of the suture is to reduce the supraanal fullness. As you see, the patient has got a very thick skin. Very thick skin. And she had surgery before, seeing the round tip which she had. So this is an absorbable suture. So five, six nodes. We don't want the suture to to get loose and keep it long. Very vital, important suture. So now if you look at the previous situation, you see the round ill-defined bulbous tip and look now at the situation now, you see how much definition, how much narrowing, how much refinement we achieved. Also the patient has got a very very thick skin. And also from the side view, you see now from the side view, we augmented the dorsum with the homo homo rib graft. You can't expect perfection in this case, a revision case, patient had, you see, very undesirable rhinoblasty before, with undesirable results, a lot of fibrosis, scarring, thick skin, so you see now that's the most we can do, you see now, the difference, the tip is almost half size, half size, uh, compared to the situation before, before, And because the patient now has has a big face, as you see the patient has a big face, so we don't need to do a narrowing. If we do a narrowing like this now, it will look unnatural, you see. So we have to keep it natural. So that's really enough, I think, now for this patient, being done enough. Okay. So what we did now, we obtained concal graft. We did full tip blasty, oblique modified bone division. Full tip blasty. We did augmentation of the dorsum with, with homo rib graft. And that's it. Okay, that's enough. So, upside. So, we are now only less than 20 minutes. We have done full augmentation rhinoblasty. Full augmentation rhinoblasty. We did exact pocket in order to avoid the graft displacement, putting the strips now. So 
the nose I've got autofibrosis, scarring, adhesions as you have seen and we managed to do a revision rhinoplasty obtaining concalic graft full tip blasty, oblique modified dome division columnar strut, double tip graft, long tip graft and short tip graft Draw some augmentation in about 20 minutes time. Now we are, as you see now, we are 20 minutes now while we are doing the, the blast tying on the nose. Okay, move. I like to use double blaster, always. Augmentation rhinoplasty in about 20 minutes time. I know you're just going to close the ear now. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is operation being done under local with sedation. I hope you have enjoyed the procedure. And this is my approach, a really excellent approach for this revision case. As you see, in less than 25 minutes, we have done our job complete, and we achieved quite quite an acceptable and adequate results with such thick skin, scarred nose, adhesions, and, and, and uh, uh, fibrosis. Thank you. Bye-bye.